And you yeah. see the Cali on the Magnolia. But yeah, them dudes, fucking. that was, them dudes hadn't been that close to each other in years. Like that kind of shit wasn't happening. Yeah. Not at that time. It was too much going on. Then you got, then, uh, it was just too many people getting killed and all that kind of shit. Every time somebody got killed out the Cali, it was blamed on the Magnolia. Every time somebody got, because them two, and both of them was two notorious brothers. What's going on with y'all today, man? Got something special for y'all. I told y'all we had some stuff from the documentary that nobody ever seen before. Most of the interviews, like the Mr. Marcelo interview, the Cesspool 5 interview, the UTP Skip interview, man. All those interviews are going to be made available on our YouTube coming soon. So I want y'all to like and subscribe if y'all ready to see that. But for this one, it's going to be a classic interview with Mr. Marcelo talking about the Magnolia versus the Calio during the time when he did the Han Brown video shoot. Fat Fat and all that actually shot this video. So we're going to be playing a lot of old clips. So if you actually want to go see the video, go check out Fat Fat and all that channel. Go subscribe now. But yeah, great video. Make sure if you haven't checked out the End of the Magnolia documentary that you check it out and keep us posted. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next. So we back rolling, we back rolling. Cali on the Magnolia, you know what I'm saying? I'm broke you. Say like when I first signed, um, with the, with, when I first signed with uh, Tough Guy, me and Doe became like best friends, right? And our projects, it wasn't super at odds, but it was always some kind of friction. But like the first day, one time me and Doe was riding down Washington Avenue and we just, Doe saw Stone outside and we riding down we in the road and we following each other going down Washington. Doe turned around like, what are you doing? Turn around, he parked on Washington. I'm like, Phew. But this was my first time seeing that, seeing them actually in the act, but doing Stone was real tight, mm -hmm. super tight. But our plan to shoot this video was, we were supposed to shoot in the morning in the Magnolia, mm -hmm. and we were gonna shoot at night in the Cali. But really what we was trying to do was, we knew that we shot in the morning in the Magnolia, a lot of people out the Cali wasn't gonna be woke to come over there to do the video with. So we was really trying to keep some friction, but we wanted, I mean, stop some, anything from happening, but we wanted that video to happen in both projects. The fucking cameraman got it wrong. We woke up, the, the cameraman was setting up at, somebody called one of us and said the cameraman setting up. He was like, all right, but they were setting up in the gallery. So that's why I like the beginning of it, like we was in the Cali and then by the time we shot so long, this you know, it's old videos, you gotta put, we had food out there for them people and all kind of stuff, so it takes a lot longer. So we started, they start setting up at six, they probably got through at nine, we start shooting. By the time we got through shooting all those scenes, it was probably like three maybe. And the cameraman was like, we had another scene in Rose Tap. That's the ballroom right across the street from the Cali. We was trying to get them to hurry up and go into Magnolia while it was still daytime. Cameraman didn't get it. It was like, nah, we might as well shoot right here while we're here and just wrap it up in the Magnolia. Meaning we're gonna be in the Magnolia at 7, 8 o'clock at night. Not the plan. And we got the whole Cali over us. Because, and there's people, now there's people out the Magnolia who didn't came in the Cali. After we got through, cause we shot that ballroom scene and then we went to the Magnolia. Man, we went to that ball, we went in that project. It was a, a man, me and Doe looking at each other riding through the courtway because you know you had to ride through the courtway. We just let them go back there and set up. So everybody was still just in Rose Tab and drinking and shit, but people in the know you was gathering around. So Victor went and got, uh, like back in the game, they used to have the sweater, the Cali, old Magnolia, whatever your hood was, some dude named King used to sell. Victor went and got like 40 of them. Calios in Magnolia's right. That's why if you look on the on the port on the porch, all of them got on them shirts. Like it's the dude, it's my my um golf order who would grab them and get them there by. But if you pay attention to that shit, other video, like it was really cause it was tension, but it it, it, it was we was so happy that nothing didn't pop off. And the crazy part, we didn't have no police. Mm. Yeah. The police left in the Cali. But we, the, the, as, when we did the video, we didn't expect really to need them, so we didn't hide them. Like, yeah. only police we had, we had two police back there in the Cali, and that was two 
poppers, dudes who used to just be around. So they just came back then, they just didn't want to be detailed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, we got that Magnolia. That's why if you, when you look on that porch, this, and you yeah. see the Cali on the Magnolia. With really them dudes, fucking. that was, them dudes hadn't been that close to each other in the year. Like that kind of shit wasn't happening. Yeah. Not at that time. There was too much going on. Then you got, then, uh, it was just too many people getting killed and all that kind of shit. Every time somebody got killed out the Cali, it was blamed on the Magnolia. Every time somebody got, because them two, and both of them was two notorious project. Yeah, 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 yeah. And why people always mistake me for being out the Calio and they'll think it's offensive to me, but I'll be like, you tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I credit both of them projects to having a lot to do with my career. Like I always said, like, uh, Dope, Dope gave me an opportunity, but Toe showed me it could happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Toe showed me how to be a businessman. Nino Dad? Oh yeah, he, he taught me how to be a businessman without even knowing.